All right, well, here we go. We're gonna make a simple spaghetti sauce. And uh, I talked to a lady at the grocery store yesterday, a checker, and she wanted to know how, she has all these tomatoes in her garden, how to make spaghetti sauce. She doesn't like runny sauce either. She wants a nice, thick sauce. So how I do it, it's pretty simple. It doesn't take all that long, or maybe it takes a little time, but fast. No simmering on the stove all day. All right, one pound of Roma tomatoes, just like this, right? Right now I got a whole pound for 49 cents. Cut them in half, and then each half, you just take a paring knife or whatever you want, dice it this way, and this way. So you get it in there. Don't lose any juice. Don't pull any of that stuff out. See, diagonal cuts. Piece of cake. Now, I'm going to take oh. okay. didn't have the sugar in line. So all we're going to do is we're going to take and I'm going to put these on the rack on the stove here. Now, you can see that, okay, then I take a little bit of salt, and you know, the biggest thing for tomatoes, I don't care what anybody says, is a little bit of pepper, of course, just lightly, so you can visually see it on each slice. And only on about, oh, one-third of your tomatoes, you do a very light sprinkle of coriander. Because it's a tendency to get real strong. Alright, my favorite part, sugar. You dust it with sugar just a little more than you do the salt. And that's I think that's the biggest number one thing. So... Try to get one a little closer for you. Let's see, yeah. See? Boom. Alright, that's done. The key, most important part though, I'll save you the noise. I got in the little coffee grinder. I already did up, oh, about one heaping, one and a half teaspoons, regular teaspoon you eat with, of fennel seeds. That's a must. You really want to grind fresh, at least when it comes to spaghetti, at least your fennel. Alright, so, save you the noise. We're going to go ahead, take it out, and do the same thing. I'm going to use the whole bit. I grind it up to uh, fine to semi coarse. And I sprinkle it. There, everyone until all the fennel is gone. Alright. Alright, well there's a tiny little bit extra, but that's okay. Now, olive oil. Whatever you got. Olive oil is nice, but you can use canola or vegetable. And I just give a little drizzle on each one. I think the oil helps lock in and force the fennel and salt, coriander, kind of forces it into the tomatoes. Helps lock it in, but yet, you know, you're allowed to evaporate, which is what you're doing. You're not just cooking it. You're evaporating it. And then I'll just take it. You can see the fennel. I'll just tap it on there a little bit. Get it in there. Move it in and keep it moist so it just doesn't... You don't lose those volatile oils. You want the 
fennel to get trapped in the olive oil. Kind of like a, oh, I guess like doing a bell pepper, if you will. You just give it a light tap in there, get it in those, get it in those cracks. The slices that you did earlier. Make sure that it's coated a little bit with that olive oil. Mmm, smells wonderful. All right, next step. I like to be efficient, and I'm a cheap bastard. So I take a whole head of garlic, bulb, or this is garlic, and about a third of an onion. I just got a yellow onion. Put the garlic in the bottom, make a little cup with some foil. Put the garlic in the bottom, cover the top with the onions. My oven's, oven's preheated to 350 already. The pot in the back is my secret sauce, but you can use chicken stock or whatever. I use one ladle of beef bone marrow stock that I let simmer for, oh, I don't know, 18 hours. And then I do uh, an unseasoned pig feet uh, broth. And that gives you that texture, that creaminess without getting a ton of fat. Because the fat you scrape off the top. Oh, you'll see at the end of the story video. Alright, oven's ready. Now I just gotta douse the cup of garlic and onions. You get them nice and liberal. It reminds me when I was a kid, my dad used to have my brother Andre and I. We'd take aluminum foil. And we were like camping, so we'd take and wrap a whole onion and potatoes. The onions would get real sweet and we'd bury them into the coals into the fireplace. My dad was a crack up. Still is. Okay, now oven's preheated. And I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boys. And I put it on a rack so that the air can get around it. And if you got a convection oven, hey, lucky you. Okay, so I'm going to put these one pound of tomatoes, which I did weigh. Meet middle in the middle of the oven. Yeah. I take the onions and I use a ceramic plate to set it on. I think the ceramics, uh, the ceramics kind of aid the evenness of flow, and the onions help get that sweetness. And then you got the sweetness of the fennel and sugar. I put down the top rack of onions. Okay, I think we got it. And we'll see you shortly.